very big because there's so many in there. It's pond shallow. We are standing around a tree that is a thousand years old. And from our, from our mystery and, our, and from all of our facts, we believe that witches were hung here around... In Burgo, that's fact. In Burgo, it's just down the road and it's fact. Yeah. But we're saying here in Fingering Hole, this area was used to hang witches and to make sure people were brought to justice who... Look at all the fish. Loads of fish. There's even been goldfish put in here and people have caught. That goes to about three foot deep, that's all. Wow. You see them, but that big, mate. Carp like that, but they're shallow. What, in here? Yeah, there's hundreds of them. But people, when they hook them, they just go for the reeds and the, into all this, they get tangled up. They're too big for the pond, that's what it is. There's a marker there. Yeah. There's, there was pike put in here, and they caught the pike and sold them to the pub, and they put them on the menu. Pike steaks. <laughs> About 20 years ago. But there were perch in here, what eat the other fish. I've caught perch here before. Roach, rud. Be tension here. It is so lovely this time of year because it is April and it is just before the bank holiday, the first one of the year. And all of the animals have come to life. After a long, cold winter, all of the animals have woken up. You can hear them all over there, can't you? Yeah. I think you have to get permission to fish that side there because it's on some private land. Yeah. I've seen people fish it, but you have to get permission. I've seen people fishing from this side as well. Yeah, it's all free along here. Yeah. It's mainly for the village, I think, but it yeah. come for miles because it's a good fishing here, but you don't yeah. get big ones that much. Well, me and Uncle Dean are investigating all the, all the surrounding areas today because we had a bit of time off work. But we are guessing that this tree was a place where trials were held for witches and medieval things. Because it's like the, the medieval thing, don't it? Feel more. <laughs> I know people in the village cars. Yeah, what's that mean? What it's exactly used for, the tree, years ago. Lynch them, that's what he's saying, it. But you couldn't win, could you? You drowned your witch if you survived your witch. So either way, you was got. Doomed. You was doomed either way. Mannering doomed. Well, it's nice just to be in these natural places, listening to the wildlife, being with Uncle Dean talking about the history that surrounds us because just by coming to this spot we have seen a tree where we believe witches and metal evil things happened here take a look It does feel, feel like we're in a fairy tale location. Oh, it's very quiet and placid here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I thought like it's all the time always quiet and that. But it gets busy here, people fishing. Right. Yeah, I'm jumping out up there, little ones. So you've got this pond here, and just over there you've got salt water, where the Roman River makes the pond. A lot of eels out there in front. And then the mill was built and that polluted the water, but now the mill's been out of action for years. They built on it. That'd be clean then it was. That's like the ponds over Grinstead. Um, people catch goldfish there because the kids win them at the fair or something, they'll take them home and the parents don't want them. They say, go and put them in the pond. And they breed with other carp and you get like crossbreeds and... <laughs> a bit like life. Yeah. So you go and finish up the film with the, with the, um, this, the tree. What name can we call this tree, considering what well, it could have been around? It may be the tree of all trees. This may be the tree of all trees. 
because this tree has so much history. Look where branches used to be. Yeah. See that, where they used to be? Right there. That could have been all that thing we had in the late 80s, what, all them storms, what weren't broadcasted about. The definition of a tree. Yeah, it's definitely had bits cut up here and there, isn't it? Control it more. Yeah, you can see there's that bit's off, yeah. that bit's off. I don't, I don't know how long they go for until they actually, you know, stop living the tree. Should live for thousands of years. See, these ropes should go right down there, won't they? Near the buildings. Of course, yeah. See, that's the thing. You want to move it. That's why they just cut them down with the stumps there, don't they? This is massive. Wow. See how thick the root is here? That's, that's going to go quite a way, isn't it? Yeah, sure will. So ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed a tree that has got more mystery than anyone you can see. It's got some ivy growing up it there. Yep, this tree has got more mystery than more than any people you'll ever see. This tree knows more than any person. And if this tree could talk, then... The tales it can tell. Think of the tales it can tell. So I think we should call this film... The tree. If this tree could talk. And we've just spoken for the tree saying the things we know, but what if this tree could speak, Uncle Dean? God, it was some trouble, wouldn't it? So, I I'm going to say one sentence I think the tree would say if it could speak, and you can say one sentence if you think the tree could speak. Uh, let's just look at the tree first, before we say it. If this tree could speak, I'm saying the one sentence it would say is this. If this tree could speak, this tree, if this tree could speak, it would say, uh, leave nature and leave me alone. Going across. That's why it might have been had tree surgeons out. Yes. Yep. If this tree could speak, Uncle Dean, what would it say if this tree could speak? God, I have a few tales to tell, wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably goes back before Jesus was about. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed a film called If This Tree Could Speak. If this tree could speak. Who says it can't? Who says we're all not unique? If this tree could speak, what a great film. Shine on everybody. Because if this tree could speak. It'd be beautiful. I wish this tree could speak.